Time for a day in the life. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books and today I've got for you a day in the life reading vlog. Hey guys, I don't know what part of the video this is going to be part of, um, like where it's going to fall within the video, uh, but the plan is to have this posted on August 2nd which that means it has been one full year on YouTube since we per posted our first video, which was, I think, a July wrap-up back last year. So very excited stuff, a uh, whole year on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, helping us grow. Make sure you guys are subscribed. If you're not, then subscribe. Uh, but yeah, let's get back to the reading vlog. So today uh, we are kind of out and about we got some stuff going on we got some orders to pick up some stuff to return go to the driving range and so i figured today would be a day to do some reading and so uh it's been a while since we've done a reading vlog. yeah it's because a lot of them we've just been doing like recent reads and like weekly updates and stuff like that so figured we would uh take you along on the journey of reading two new releases the second one we're still kind of up in the air about but the first one is going to be for Your Own Good by Samantha Downing. So I'm very excited about this one. Um, it's about like this weird teacher who's got like an agenda for students and like their parents and stuff. Let's get to, it's a thriller release and I'm very excited to get to it. Obviously you guys will know what the second book is based off of the thumbnail. It's a mystery to me as of right now, but I do have a faint idea of what it is and what I'm planning to do. So I'm gonna start reading this pretty soon. We're at Target right now. But yeah, no, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we're going to get this book started. We'll see you on our journey throughout the day. How's the book? It's good so far. I'm enjoying it. I'm intrigued with uh, the teacher character Teddy. I think he's uh, an interesting character. Um, it's got an interesting point of view though with how the characters are. The school is very high class and very uh, uh, it's very like an expensive school and he's somebody who wasn't able to afford it so if he is gonna be the bad guy I can see his motives so um, about a little more than a quarter of the way through, maybe a third of the way through. So far, I'm really enjoying it. I thought you were almost halfway. Am I halfway? I'm at chapter 40. It's like 160 something. I don't, I don't remember if it's halfway or three quarters. And we chose the second book. Uh, the Taking of Jake Livingston. Uh, I'm finally going to give that a read. Um, but that'll be later. Yeah. <laughs> Not by Stephen King. Hey. How's golf? Well, I feel like my irons are a lot better than they used to be. But yeah, no, uh, I feel like I'm doing better. Um, it's really just like the driver that's getting me. So I just always shank it left. But we try and get that a little more down today and maybe go golfing at some point again this week. This weekend, maybe. And finish this book. Yeah, finish this book, start the next book finish the next book and uh, just keep on trucking through all right so after the driving range i kind of figured uh, my driver out a little bit better and so i bullied danielle into coming to go uh, golfing so here we are golf um, chats number one so i'm a little bit through chapter 67 i got about an hour or so left in the book um really don't have a prediction this book is throwing me for a loop like it really is um, you think it's one teacher, then it's another teacher doing something, then there's another one, then a student gets involved. It's, it's very intriguing, and I'm very, uh, very thrilled to try and finish this. Uh, I don't even have a prediction. It's one of those kind of books where I'm just kind of, I really don't know. So, see how it ends, see how it goes, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we get the rest of the day, you know finish out the course here and 
We'll score. see if your golf chat's number two. Yes, there will be a second one. So stay tuned and we'll let you know my score and what's going on with the book. Because we're going to finish this book and start the next one while golfing. <laughs> yeah, we're doing 18, so. We'll be here a while. Yes, we'll see you in three hours. <laughs> So the back half is not treating me as nicely, but what are you going to do? Um, so the book is over. Uh, I still have a little bit to ponder with what did take place and what happened, but I will say it was a very solid story. Um, overall, I'm probably going to give it right now probably between a four or four and a half. I'm going to need to sit on it a little bit, kind of think about it a little more, but it, it was a really good story and I did really enjoy it. Um, I did, I mean, the killer kind of make it obvious, but that, like, the hero was, it kind of surprised me. At first, I thought it was kind of like a dull person to talk about at the beginning, but then he, they ended up coming through and uh, being a big help and a big part of the book, honestly. Um, and, of course, Zach, the, the student, my name is Zach, so um, he ends up... Uh, you know, doing some good things in the book too, and I'm pretty, pretty excited for him. He was a solid kid. Uh, like I said, I did agree with some of what the teacher Teddy had did had said before. Like, you know, he didn't grow up with like rich family or anything like that, so he wasn't like one of these kids at this school. You know, so there were some parts that were like, you know, you got to teach the rich and naughty kids a lesson. Like, life isn't always going to be handed to you and stuff, but. I don't want to spoil too much, but in the end, it bit him in the butt. So, but yeah. First book off your August to be our check. Yes, very first book off of August, done. And um, I don't think Jake Livingston was on August TBR, but um, that's the next one. I'm going to get it started now. Um, I might do a whole without a book, but I don't know. Um, kind of got to get my mojo back a little bit. Kind of been losing track. Um, so I've been really trying to focus on the book, and so I've been kind of all over the place in this back half. So, but uh, I think we got maybe six more, five or six more holes to go. Uh, no idea what my score is right now, which is good for me because I don't like to know what it is. Um, but based off of how the first half went, I think I'm doing okay. But uh, we'll see how it goes. My driver has definitely been a lot better, I think. So, Comment below if you read either Jake Livingston or For Your Own Good, your thoughts on them. Yes, and let me know in the comments. So let's continue with Jake Livingston and let's continue with the game. Alright guys, it's the next morning, as you can see in the back, we had another order pick up for some stuff this morning. Um, gonna pick up some breakfast, uh, golf went a little later than expected. Scored a little better than I actually thought I was doing at the time, so... It's whatever, I've got about an hour and a half left with Jake Livingston. Um, I don't really have a prediction. There's two, like, stories we're hearing. There's a story from Jake, which is, like, present day. And then, like, a note from Sawyer, who was a kid who, like, shot up the school and then hung himself. And he's kind of, like, haunting Jake. I don't know. I don't really have a prediction with what's going to happen here. Um, it, it is really cool, though. I am enjoying the story a lot. And I don't know. I really don't know. We're going to have to see where it goes. And I'll let you guys know what happens at the end. All right, guys. So I just finished the taking of Jake Livingston. Uh... For it being, I want to say, I think this is like my second YA horror book, the first being Clown in a Cornfield um, by Adam Caesar. Um, that was a really good book. This was another phenomenal book, uh, YA horror. So far, two for two. Um, this wasn't a perfect five for me. There were some parts that kind of got a little confusing in like the middle portion, three quarters of the way through, um, but it did pick up and it had a really solid ending. Um, I really 
I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to have to give this four and a half stars, um, but it was a very solid book. Highly recommend it. Um, I think this is the first book I've read by Ryan Douglas, too. Um, good author. Loved his first book. Um, maybe why horror is a thing I can get into now, maybe. I don't know. Really good book. Absolutely enjoyed it. Four and a half stars. All right. So that ends the reading vlog. Uh, for Young Good, Samantha Downing. Uh, we gave a solid four stars. That's what I ended up going with. Kind of was able to ponder it a little bit more. Um, and then The Taking of Jake Livingston, four and a half stars. Really good outing between these two books. About an 85% day today. Well, day and like a quarter. It's still, still early today. Um, probably try and do some other video stuff today. And, you know, just came on trucking through. But we're going to end this vlog here. Um, have any of you guys read these books? If you have, let me know about them in the comments. What were your thoughts and opinions on them? Um, I really enjoyed both of them. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys in uh, the next video. Later.